We're the CWB Consulting Group, and we're here today to present to you our solutions on food insecurity. So first, a brief overview. Um, throughout this presentation, we're gonna first bring you an overview of our problem on campus. Next, we're gonna detail our solutions and our implementation steps. And lastly, we're gonna show you our measures of success and the risks. So the problem. Uh, according to the Penn State Food and Housing Survey last year, 57.9% ate less because they did not have enough money, 57% had reduced their meal size, and 42.9% uh, were hungry but did not eat. We find that this is a serious problem and we need to address it soon. So moving on to current resources, there's a lot of resources. We're gonna highlight four here. The first one is Lion's Pantry, which delivers free food. The next one is Live on Student Success Grant. It's $2.4 million dedicated to students who are in need. And we also have the Penn State Emergency Fund, which is, serves the same purpose. And lastly, we have the SNAP program, which is a government assistance program to help students who are food insecure. We believe that these current resources are underutilized and we should increase awareness about them, which lead us into the first solution. So it was pretty clear that all the, there are all the resources um, student can get an aid uh, for just for food. Um, they have like a bunch of different resources to go to, but what's needed is the awareness. So uh, we came up with awareness campaign with a goal to connect the students to the existing resources. Uh, but before that, uh, we, ne we need to make sure that is it the case or not, are students aware of all the resources? And therefore we conducted a research a survey uh, in, in which we found out that students are not aware of the resources. Here are some of the results. The first one was um, we asked students whether they are aware of the Penn State Emergency Funds and like applying about it. And we found out that the majority, 77.4% of um, the respondents, they said that uh, they don't know anything about the same. The next was the student success grants. As mentioned, it is a special type of financial aid um, just to tackle the food insecurity uh, by the uh, housing um, by the housing department. And again, 80.6 percent, the majority don't know about this grants. Uh, the next was Lions Pantry, and here as well, the majority said that even if they know about Lions Pantry, they don't know how to access this. And the last one was the SNAPE program, which is a government program uh, that allows like Pennsylvanians, the students as well, uh, to buy stuff at a cheaper rate, uh, which, but still, majority don't know about this thing. So. Concluding all of them, uh, we know that we need to have uh, a awareness campaign. We came up with a three-step implementation process. Uh, first thing, the first step would be to have a budget to estimate the budget, which will which is necessary to have the awareness campaign. Uh, we need to gather gather funds from sponsors and alumni network. Um, when we have that, we'll run several several awareness campaigns. Some of them um, to cite those would be to have these awareness campaign right in the new student orientation. So when the student like starts his or her journey here at Penn State, they'll know all the resources in case they are food insecure. So including that thing in the new student orientation, um, having a separate section in the Penn State Go system, which is the system for the Pennsylvania State University, um, and having a separate section which will explain all the resources that the students have to tackle the food insecurity. The third step is to have information flyers. It is a great more to like uh, have our information out and let increase the awareness among the students. We'll print flyers, we'll place them in Lance Pantry, and we'll place them at all the high traffic areas throughout the campus so that we can get the message across about all the resources that students have that they need in case they feel that they are, they are food insecure. Our second solution is called the Late Night Food Bank and its purpose is to distribute leftover meals. So we interviewed managers at all the commons and we found that leftovers are thrown away is roughly 50% of total food waste. That's around 140,000 distributable meals wasted per semester and that's roughly enough to feed our undergraduate population four times. Yet all this food could be repurposed. So our first step of implementing this solution is to determine eligible students. We will enroll them based on their financial aid needs, 
So they'll be enrolled to this program and the benefits will be linked to their Penn State ID. The next step is gonna run operations. So we're gonna hire additional employees for service. Since each, since each common is a different size, we're gonna hire the number of employees based on the size of the commons. And then we're gonna distribute the same day leftovers using PSU reuse containers, which are the green reusable containers to reduce any waste that comes from styrofoam. And our last step is to clean up. So we're gonna, so the PSU reuse containers are gonna be collected and washed the next day. And then they're gonna be washed with the rest of the dishes so that we save uh, soap and water. And then uh, we'll be distributing new containers. So for our solution, of, so for our solution evaluation, we have to consider the financials. Um, we actually uh, went around, we got our answers from the dining hall managers through interviews and we uh, came up with our costs, which are the salary expenses, operational costs, and campaign costs. With salary ex expenses, we estimate it to be around fifty-five to 83000 per semester at a 12-hourly wage. Operational costs are mainly for electricity in the dining halls, and that's around 230 to $260. Campaign cost is to distribute flyers out throughout for to increase awareness of our existing resources. That will be around $500. Our success criteria is to, for social impact. <coughs> for social impact, our solution will boost food resource awareness and which in turn increases mental health. For environmental impact, it will reduce waste in the innovation and partnerships, there will be Lions Pantry, Alumni Network, Charity, Religious, Corporate, and Support. All right, we also, there is potential risk and we provide solutions for them. There will be overuse, if there is overuse of resources, we can limit dis distribution per person. If there is a not enough awareness, we can apply, we can distribute more flyers in higher traffic areas. And then if there's insufficient funding, we can connect with charity and religious organizations. Okay, to summarize, we here we presented two solutions. The first of which is an awareness campaign. The purpose is to connect students to existing resources. The second one is late night food bank, which feeds students the leftovers while reducing food waste. The positive impact of these solutions are first, that it re, um, decreases food insecurity, and it also decreases food waste. So our risks includes overusing existing resources and insufficient funding, but we all have um, potential solutions for them. So just, I want to thank you for your time. Here's our work cited.